Hello my darlings, welcome to this channel. I'm your tutorial Srijita and if you are my new subscriber, go ahead and subscribe this channel and also hit that bell icon so you should get notified by the YouTube whenever I upload a new video. And if you're my return subscriber, thank you so much for, you know, reviewing this channel. And also, I love your comments. I love your likes. I love your appreciation. I love you guys. I love you so much. Okay, my new friends. So, um, one person that commented uh, in my video that, okay, you want to, will you marry reading by your date of birth? Okay, so today is your reading. Okay also i will shut out this person in my description box and uh, guys uh, let me know that uh what is resonating with you which one is literally you know which kind of reading you love the most okay so here i got three piles pile number one is the person who is born between number one to number eleven so if your birthday is 1 to 11, then this is pile number 1. Pile number 2 is from number 12 to number 21. So if you are born 12 to 21, then that is pile number 2. And pile number 3 is 22 to 31. So if your birthday is between 22 to 31, then that is your pile 3, okay? I will give the pile name and the timestamps in my description box. So you can find that link and you can find that timestamps and click that and you will see your specific messages okay and also remember guys if you are someone who have no idea what is going on in my channel then let me tell you guys i am a tarot reader i read your energies i read your aura and uh by catching those energies, I told you, I channeled you some kind of messages that I'm receiving from universe, I'm receiving from my spirit guides. And if these messages are resonating with you, that means that's for you. And if something is not matching with your energy, then leave that message. Maybe th this is not for you. Okay. So what you need to do that you need to choose that pile one, pile two and pile three. Pile one is from... Uh, 1 to 11 uh, time and, and the pile 2 is 12 to 21 and pile 3 is 22 to 31 okay so this is your date of birth kind of thing maybe you are born in 9th april like me <laughs> my birthday is 9th april so you will choose pile number one okay so this is this this is the way it happens so let's go and check your reading thank you hello my pile number one those of you choose number one to number 11 then this is your reading so you born between one to 11 maybe your birthday is one or two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so then this is your reading welcome my guys and if you're not my subscriber go ahead and subscribe that button because i love you guys so much and i love to do videos for you so first i will check that uh, from my mystic mundus tarot deck and that is uh, you know this is the modern witch kind of thing so you will that will literally give you some specific messages about your marriage so let's check that what is there for you who will you marry the personality of your future spouse or some kind of extra messages okay so let's go my spirit guides my garden angel archangel michael my heart so this channeled message through me for my pile number one those of you choose okay these two cards want to come out. I will take only flippers. Hello, guys. Okay. that's it so my friends you got four cards the first is wow 
the first is lovers can you see that card the first card is lovers the second is death the third is wow you got the four of pentacles four of pentacles and the fourth one is ace of wands okay ace of wands so okay first of all guys let me tell you that your person okay let me tell you the sign i can see clearly um scorpio aries leo sagittarius taurus virgo capricorn and taurus virgo capricorn maybe earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or some fire is here aries leo sagittarius and also i am getting um some scorpio vibes maybe your future spouse is really sneaky really secretive or they love to have a mysterious kind of personality around them they love to wear hoodies or some kind of you know mysterious stuff they love to see the sci-fi movies or fantasy movies let me tell you about their personality i can see it okay from the ace of ones i can see someone who is very passionate about what they are doing maybe they are very passionate about their career your future spouse will be someone who love to do many creative things your future spouse love to do you know love to create something they are a creator they they literally create something maybe they are into um computer you know they are making something you know software they may be you know web developer they may be into you know film production some kind of thing maybe someone who is a creator i'm getting the creating vibes you know ace of wand is all about creating and this is going to be a new relationship for you so my pile number one if you're someone who is waiting for your ex this is not your ex this is someone new so you should let go of any you know any um past energy the energy that doesn't serve you anymore you have to let go of that and i'm also getting that your future spouse is someone who is very very energetic they got a uh, lots of stamina lots of energy so and they get bored very easily maybe you get bored very easily okay you guys are really adventurous spontaneous kind of energy i'm getting and also ace of wands is you know uh doing something with hands so their hands may be very flowy they may be use their uh hands a lot maybe you know the typing or they're creating something or their mind is really creative i can see someone who is very creative financially you know because this is not gender specific you may be a boy or a girl watching for a man or a woman or a gay couple or lesbian couple doesn't matter but the masculine energy has so much of financial stability you know so much of financial stability i can see here very much wealthy family and four of pentacles is all about that stability that um, there is no there is i i can't see any kind of financial issue or poverty no i can't see that they got a lot of money they got um exact amount of money that you need to have a very you know flowy and happy family so you will not face any kind of uh, you know uh, you will not face any kind of uh, money issue or any kind of uh, you know uh, poverty after marriage or you know be with them okay you will not feel that and you know in a relationship they are very stable they are very loyal i can see that your future spouse will be very loyal and i am getting soulmate vibes so maybe you are going to marry your soulmate and for very few of you i'm getting a bit of karmic energy you know you know karmic partners are not bad karmic partners are not bad karmic means literally you are having this kind of you know uh, romantic relationship first time in your life maybe in past life or in a past time you guys have some kind of you know brother sister or mother father relationship but not having romantic relationship and you are going to have this for the first time in this life so karmics are not bad at all okay uh, there are many you know there are many definitions about karmic partners but i literally see karmic partners as the as a new relationship so i'm sensing that maybe this is your karmic partner or maybe that is your soulmate but i'm getting highly soulmate because because i'm getting here the lovers card so ace of wands and the four of pentacles so much stable in the relationship and you know this relationship will be evergreen 
even your future spouse will be evolving and will be changing really you know updating yourself really uh, you know refreshing i'm getting so much of refreshing energy here even your future spouse got so much of refreshing energy you guys really rejuvenate your energy very easily and i'm also getting that your future spouse is uh, very much good with investing money they are a good investor you know they invest their money very 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 you know um professionally i should say that okay the death card is telling me that this is a card of transformation so after marriage of course you and your future spouse both will be changed a lot okay so before marriage you will be someone um like like you okay so you're not married so that's why you're watching this video so right now who you are after marriage you will be changed in a very good way in a very positive way i mean your status will be uplift your future spouse will help you to uplift your status okay your social status will be high after marriage and i'm also getting that you know the death card is also telling me uh, some kind of transformation before meeting your future spouse maybe you are going through some kind of glow up transformation you are really uh, you know some kind of you know you are having some kind of um, hair transformation or you know your chain you are changing your uh, figure you are changing your superficial things maybe if you're not this energy maybe this is your future spouse who is changing their looks who is uh, going to the gym or having a beautiful body or if not gym then they are eating very healthy and having a very beautiful and glowy skin so i'm getting some kind of a very very huge transformation maybe you are someone who is going to be shocked after looking your future spouse's past childhood photo maybe you will be saying that oh my god baby you were like that and now you are fully different so i can see some kind of huge transformation this transformation is basically you know in physical feature so maybe your future spouse is someone who is very healthy who is very wealthy and past uh, you know in a childhood uh, time they were like a skinny person or a very healthy person you know but right but the time when you are meeting your future spouse or when you're marrying this person they are having really healthy gymmed figure okay man or woman doesn't matter okay this is all about energy so some kind of you know very good health transformation i can see very healthy body i can see very strong bones maybe their certain position is very good okay i can see from the death card and death card is all about scorpio so scorpions are very emotional maybe you will meet your future spouse after a breakup or you will meet or your future spouse will meet you after a breakup okay some kind of breakup some kind of quit some kind of walking away is happening here i can sense the energy that maybe you or maybe this is your person literally walking away from someone or something maybe you are leaving a job or your future spouse is leaving a job or quitting a job or quitting on some person or you know walking away from a person some kind of this energy is happening okay and i'm also getting that the death card is also telling me that your um relationship will be some kind of new beginning so here you got the death card and the ace of wands so two card literally confirming that yes this marriage will be literally transforming literally the new beginning so guys this is double confirmation that if you're waiting for a x or if you're waiting for your ex partner so this is not your ex partner this is going to be someone new or maybe this person maybe you know that person but you are not having that kind of romantic relationship before so you will have these feelings for this person um newly okay this is not older person or you know this is not uh, someone from your past okay and i got the best card you know from major arcana the lovers so the lovers card is telling me that this is going to be a soulmate energy you and your future spouse will be the same okay from from specifically from this um Mon uh, mystic mantis tarot deck the lovers card literally give me the vibes of twin flame energy because you know what 
there is two flamingo literally facing to each other and look at that they are making literally four and four i mean i can i'm also getting 11 11 so twin flame energy and you know what you and your future spouse are same okay you and your future spouse are almost same there is so kind of um similarities it is similarities are here maybe you will find out that you and your future spouse have gone through some kind of same um past trauma or same experience in in your life individually and you know what you and your future spouse will be so much uh, same but different at the same time so i am getting some kind of mirroring energy some kind of you know um like uh, the yin and yang energy the black and white energy so you guys are same okay so you guys are same but there is some kind of similarities and there is some kind of you know uh, differences there so similarities and differences. So both of them are presenting in this relationship and you are enjoying you are literally adjusting the uh, negative things you know the differences and you are cherishing you're enjoying the positive vibrations from this energy i'm also getting that oh my god the candle is literally showing me i'm getting some in okay sacral chakra i'm hearing that angels are telling me that work on your sacral chakra i mean the base is root chakra and then you got the sacral chakra you know the area of your abdomen area lower belly so you should work on that uh, i am getting that maybe a few portion of my female viewers having some kind of you know menstrual problem or you know uh, pcod some kind of thing polycystic ovary you should check your doctor some kind of energy i'm also getting that i don't know why because uh, for pile number one i lightened some you know orange candle here so that is all about a sacral chakra so some kind of sacral chakra is here um, the sexual attraction between uh, you and your future spouse will be amazing on point and you will enjoy his or her company i can see some kind of uh, uh, relationship that is a very best friend kind of relationship you know this is so much of um like two best friends are getting married this kind of energy i'm getting i'm also getting that you know for from the ace of wands i'm also getting that you know your future spouse will love to gift you something they are a giver maybe they will give you some luxurious things luxurious gifts or and you will be saying that oh my god baby you don't have to give me that much okay so i'm sensing that your future spouse can um, spend sometimes a bit more than you so you are the one who is literally controlling um the spend stuff okay so your future spouse love to spend money on you they love to spoil you with gifts and everything so this is very good card to get you know in a love relationship reading and also this card is telling me that your future spouse will propose you so if you're asking that if you or the person is going to uh, take the initial then i'm going to tell you that whether you are a man or a woman watching this video this is for everyone the energies are telling me that look if you are happy with the present energy and if you are um, still going to pursue the energy that right now you are in then your future spouse is going to propose you okay then your future spouse will going to propose you and you will be the receiver i'm getting someone is giving and someone is receiving so your future spouse will giving you the proposal and you will be the one who is receiving it and i'm also getting the uh, energies from my angels by the lovers card that uh, for your love life you have done so many things you know maybe you have done so many things or you will be doing so many things so you don't have to worry about marrying or you know if you believe in marriage or if you are someone who is going to have marriage or who you or you know the person who wants to get married then this is for you okay so your person will propose you you are not you 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 will want them to propose you and you will want them that why don't they propose me i will say yes just propose me this kind of energies i'm getting so don't get impatient with this person 
keep patient because your future spouse is very calm very patient they literally having the you know uh the total energy they are slow but steady and they take their decisions uh very very you know uh thoughtfully they are not you know that uh, risk taker no they will uh, think they will uh, judge and they then they will propose you so i'm getting some kind of energy that total energy they will go slow but yes that their movement will be permanent they are not kind of you know they are not the person that they will be doing a uh, flirt and they will be you know ha having a player kind of a mind no i'm not getting that vibes your person will be very serious they are into relationship they are into permanent things they are into eternal partnership maybe some of you i'm getting here if you are someone who don't want to get married that's fine because for for your future spouse the paperwork you know the marriage paperwork doesn't matter marriage should come from your heart your future spouse literally believe in this kind of energy okay i'm also getting that your future spouse will be very very um open minded they are not shallow minded they are very modern they are very open minded and they are very spiritual rather than religious so sometimes you will see the you know the conflicting nature in them that they believe in spirituality they believe in universe but they don't believe in the um, you know the idea of god or something that you can touch okay maybe this is for some of you this is not for all of you maybe this is for one okay if you are someone this messages are resonating keep comment in my um, you know comment box i i would love to know that oh my god if you are someone who is literally having this amazing relationship okay so let's take uh, let's take one card that uh, where will you meet your future spouse where will you meet your uh, future spouse i'll pull one card okay okay this card fell so i i would i should took this too okay okay so you get um the princess of sword i told you that your future spouse will be very intelligent they are very witty they are very thoughtful and you got the uh, five of wands this card is literally telling me that teamwork so maybe you will meet your future spouse in a place where there is crowd there is literally many people are working there maybe you will meet your future spouse in a, in outside okay there is many people many people talking playing doing work for some of you okay i can see there is three groups here okay for some of you you will meet your future spouse in a workplace this is workplace love for some of you you will meet your future spouse while traveling from one place to another and for some of you i'm getting you will meet your future spouse in a family gathering okay because five of one is all about there is so much people talking to each other someone is playing someone is giving some lectures and you know just talking and gossiping so i'm getting both energies you know family get together traveling or from one place to another or some kind of you know workplace wise workplace energy i'm getting okay princess of sword is telling me that your your future spouse will be very logical at the first time you will meet them at the first time you will see them you will not see any kind of romanticism or any kind of you know love it up feeling for them um i don't know but i'm getting the energy that first time physically okay this is not online meeting or something like that maybe for some of you you will meet online because i can see that the sword is literally lightning uh, okay and that's literally coming and uh, you know going over her head so some kind of you know internet connection is also here so maybe you will meet online but physically physically when you will meet your future spouse there will be no romantic uh, feelings for each other but i can sense that there is so much of logical things maybe you are someone who is very observing or your future spouse is going to observe you a bit or scan you observe you or in or you know i'm getting that 
in your first date you are going to be literally communicating about your work about your study about everyday life i can't see any any romantic things okay the first the first topic the first thing that you will speak in your date are i know the first the initial things will be on work area on their life you know expect ex <laughs> except from love okay i'm sensing that the the first gossip uh, or the first talk with your future spouse will be except love apart from love everything is there okay specifically knowledgeable things something about knowledge something about spiritual knowledge maybe you are someone who is very spiritual or who loves to speak about you know spiritual things law of attraction manifestation maybe you are going to um give them some lecture on that or they are going to tell you something about that okay and the five of wands is literally telling me that you are my viewers my pile number one you got so many options you got so many options so that's why you are not that you know frustrated or you are not that um excited that oh my god that is my future spouse because you will meet uh, them as a potential future spouse you will meet them as okay he or she is also in my list that kind of energy i'm sensing but you know after after meeting with them you and your future spouse both will have some kind of mutual attraction this is going to be mutual you will literally um, have a good feeling by meeting them they will literally have a good feeling uh after uh, meeting you so there is some kind of mutual attraction is happening and after that the things will go very smoothly because you know this is very turtle energy so the initial will be slow but after that things will be uh, very smooth okay so let's check something from a monology oracle that what is there for you at advice okay from monology i will pull one card from this okay from physical feature i'm already getting that your future spouse if you are someone who is looking for a woman okay if you are if you are someone who is looking for a woman or a girl then your future spouse will be you know uh, taller than other women okay and their arms will be very strong maybe they do some they do something with their hand or something like that and i'm also getting that your uh, a future spouse will have a, a beautiful hair or a short hair listen guys this is for women okay i mean the man who is watching for their woman and i'm also getting that your future spouse will have very medium body they are not uh, skinny or they are not that uh, fat body they are not having that skinny or that fat body but they are having very well maintained figure and uh, for the female who is watching for a man then i should tell you that your person will be tall okay tall 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 i can sense tall maybe taller than you yes that is true they are very taller than you and also i'm getting that they will be taller than ever average uh, male okay they will be taller than average person average male and uh, something about their eyes will be very exciting for some of you they may wear spectacles okay glasses um okay for skin color i can't say anything because i am not having this energy about skin color but about the hair i can sense that for some of you your future spouse is very funny and they love to check about their look so sometimes they are having short hair sometimes they are having uh, you know shoulder height hair you know like me like shoulder height hair okay what else um okay for very few of you you and your future spouse will be same height maybe okay you are someone who is going to have a same height this is very small group of you this is uh, this is if if this is not uh, resonating with you then this is not for you but very small group of you maybe you and your future spouse will be having same height for other of you i am getting someone who is way taller than you very very tall maybe 6 feet 2 inch or 7 feet or maybe 5 feet 11 but they are way taller than you 
and the toll is coming literally high but i am not sensing anything else okay i'll tell you if i get anything more but your future spouse got a very seductive voice maybe their voice is very good or you literally like their voice okay so let's check some uh thing from monology oracle deck what i got here okay for the first card you got the aries energy i told you it is the sagittarius energy is here so the card is telling me it's time to take action so if you are someone who is waiting to take action then if this is the time to take action okay it is a time to show love but don't worry don't be too clingy or don't be too excited or uh, impatient because your future spouse is very patient don't worry about it everything will be sorted out keep manifesting your future spouse because i can sense someone is literally manifesting their future spouse aries energy is here of course uh, so maybe you are having Aries Zodiac or your future spouse is having Aries energy. Zodiac, Moon, Sun, Sunshine. Okay, the next card is be bold and make the first move. Okay, be bold and make the first move. So exactly this is the energy that if you are a man or someone, you know, man or a woman, doesn't matter. And want to... and. You, if you are one who literally want to uh, make first move, then you don't have to worry about it. Make the first move because, you know, right now in this time, you should speak your heart. Okay, you don't have to worry about that what other people think because at the end of the day, this is your life, your choice. You can change your energy any time you want. And you know, you know why this is this is apart from uh, this reading. I'm telling you just in case, okay? If you're someone who literally don't believe in future or exact future, then you are right. You're not wrong. But let me tell you guys, this is the reading for your current energy, for your present energy. If you choose to have this energy stay in you, then you will receive this kind of future spouse in near future. And if you are someone who doesn't like this reading, then you can change your energy. You can, vi you can raise your vibration, okay? Or you can manifest this person. You can manifest your dream person. So, you know, future is not exactly same at, the, at every time. Because, you know, you are receiving these messages. And after listening to my video or after listening to any other videos, because there is millions of video on youtube about tarot reading then you will be receiving so much of messages okay and if you are someone who literally wants uh, that kind of specific energy that kind of specific husband or specific wife then go for it then pray for it then manifest that okay but don't think that this is it this is my future this is all i got this is what i'm gonna get no if you're someone who doesn't, uh, you know, who really doesn't, you know, uh, having the idea or having the mind to choose this pile or choose that pile or, you know, not resonating message, then maybe you are not listening to yourself. Okay. Future is always changing. You know, future is in your hand. Whatever you choose, that is your future. So choose very carefully. Because, you know, in our life, we got so much cross paths. You can go right, you can go left, you can go the front, you can, you can go front, you can go, you can, you can step back, okay? You can do anything with your life. So always do good things with your life. Always listen to your heart doesn't listen to anybody else okay and always take these messages as guidance okay because tarot can guide you tarot can tell you that right now you are listening to my video you are getting these messages as your future spouse okay right because the, the video is all about who will you marry then you are receiving these messages that means right now your vibration will literally catch someone who is like that okay and if you change your vibration if you vibe high then your future spouse will be having more good qualities more high vibrational energy and if you vibe low 
then this reading will be more negative and this person the, the person you will catch that person will be more more negative more more into low vibe so always high vibe okay always raise your vibration always stay positive think positive and always you know give love to everyone because all about universe universe will give it back to you don't worry about it universe will give it back to you okay so back to the reading what i, I was telling that be bold and make the first move if you are someone who literally want to make the first move or who literally have crush on someone and if you if you are someone who literally wants to want to pursue them you can go for it you can do you can just do it because i can get I'm getting two cards. It's time for action and be bold and make the first move. So I'm getting that someone is my, someone in this group who is literally, uh, you know, have eye on someone. And my viewer, for some of you, I'm getting that you are attracting some kind of a person and want to pursue them. You can go for it. You can literally go for it and attract that person and have this kind of relationship. Okay. Okay, let's go and check something uh, for my handmade cards. Look, I got some my handmade cards. That what is future spouse is telling you right now. What your future spouse is telling you right now. Okay, I got two. I got this. Okay. Hot steamy love right now. I am really checking out others to find you my love. Just hold on a bit. I am almost there. So your future spouse literally checking out other girls or other boys because they are finding you. As you are finding them, they are also finding you. So you guys are finding each other. Don't worry. They are on their way. They are coming very soon. And the next card is my love i'm so blessed to have you as my partner okay i'll pull one more okay there is it please check my heart rate it's so high wow beautiful person okay let's have a pet cat dog bird whatever you want we love animals maybe you love animals or your future spouse love animals especially cat dog bird but i'm getting so much of cat energy here okay the next card is i see only you when i want to imagine my partner your face pop up in my eyes out of the blue we have 5d connection so i can sense that you and your future spouse already have some kind of 5d connection maybe you are seeing your future spouse in your dream or your future spouse can see you in their dreams some kind of that energy i'm also getting and let's have a pet cat dog and bird whatever you want so some kind of that energy is also here and check my heart rate my love i'm so okay hot steamy love right now i'm literally checking out other girls and other boys maybe they are literally finding you and you are finding them so don't worry they are coming very 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 soon in your life and i will pull last card about that when will you meet your future spouse the season or the time okay i get the virgo energy maybe virgo season will be the season that you will be meeting your future spouse the virgo season is you know august september um a time to give rather than take so don't worry guys you will meet your future spouse in the virgo season okay uh, you know late august to september that kind of energy i'm getting this is all i got for my pile number one if these messages are resonating with you give it a thumbs up also if you are not subscriber subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much till then stay happy stay positive and always keep smiling thank you so much hello my darlings my pile number two those of you choose number 12 to number 21 then this is your rating okay so your birthday is you know from 12 and in between or on 21 okay then this is your reading hello my guys first of all i would choose something about your future spouse their personality their 
career or you know something about them by this mystic monday star deck then let's go and check that what is there for you today and if you're not my subscriber go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i love to make videos for you guys and if these messages are resonating with you give it a thumbs up and stay with me okay i will pull four cards speaker is my card angel archangel michael my heart so channeled message through me for my pile number two who will they marry about their future spouses personality career or something like that whatever messages are coming for them give me that okay the card number one you got the seven of sword for card number two oh my god you got the lovers i shuffled of course i shuffled for card number three you got the page of sword i mean the knight of sword okay fourth position you got the queen of pentacle amazing 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 wow first of all let me tell you guys the signs i'm getting taurus virgo capricorn aquarius libra gemini aquarius libra gemini twice and the lovers energy the lovers is all about you know capricorn vibes okay i don't know lovers is giving me the capricorn energy okay so oh, first is first the seven of sword your future spouse is someone who loves to keep secret who is very a uh, self defendant person so maybe your future spouse really guard themselves or your future spouse have some kind of you know secrets or they love to keep secrets from others they love to keep secrets from you but you know this is not harmful secrets this is this is their personality this is the way they are that they love to have some kind of mysterious things in them you should check pile number 1 i know this is very specific readings about because you you have to choose your um date of birth right but you know i don't know but i'm getting some kind of pile number 1 vibes but okay i can see that the girl is literally you know the picture is literally hiding one sword behind them so i'm getting they are um someone who is very protector they are protecting someone's secret so maybe your future spouse is someone who is working in a police or they are someone who literally deal with other people's secrets maybe they are doctor they are healer they are some kind of you know the person that um uh really do some kind of secret things maybe they are hacker okay or maybe they are doing uh something literally um okay so i am getting some kind of owl vibes from this card i don't know why so from the owl energy so they are night owl maybe they are very active at the night time and your future spouse uh love to do some dark things as their career maybe they are professional hacker you know those cyber crimes um your future spouse is very good with a uh, secret things with dark things they are someone who is very you know very having a very sneaky behavior but don't worry that is not going to harm you and you know secretly they are going to observe you secretly they are going to stalk you okay this is the good thing i'm getting from seven of sword that secretly they are admiring you secretly they are telling good things about you to other people maybe you have no idea that they are uh they they are having so much of good things that tell that uh, you know they are telling to other people about you but you have no idea so your future spouse is going to be the secret admirer in your life okay maybe they are very shy type your future spouse is someone who is very shy and they are they feel very shy to express their love vocally in front of you but they are someone who literally 
you know uh, will show their love through physical touch or through physical things or their action will tell you that they love you okay they are someone like that and seven of swords also the card that um sometimes they can be uh you know obsessed about you so this is not a bad thing but you know you should control that because they sometimes they get very obsessed over you so they get jealous very easily okay from the lover's card i'm getting that this is going to be your soulmate energy because the lover's card with the queen of pentacle i'm getting so much of soulmate kind of energy and i'm also getting that this is going to be the love marriage and you know you will meet your future spouse in your life very unexpectedly i can't tell you because universe is not giving any signs about the meeting but i'm already getting that you will meet your future spouse in a very unexpected um unforgettable way you, this is going to be a meeting that everyone uh, write in a novel or in a story or in a movie okay and the lovers card is literally telling me that your future spouse will be someone who is very private with the relationship maybe they don't show the intimacy or the care caring nature outside or you know because some couples are literally you know kind of a pda couple but your future spouse will not be one of them they are very private person they show their love privately and they are very very sexual and naughty in bedroom okay that's all i'm getting from that that card okay from a night of thought i'm getting that if you are single watching this video your spouse is coming way too faster than you imagine okay because they are coming sooner than you think that will be unexpected coming you know your future spouse will be someone who is literally um you know pump into into your life and they are going to pursue you for pile number one you are going to pursue them but at the end of the day they are going to um propose you for pile number one but for my pile number two i'm getting that from the start to last your future spouse will pursue you and they will propose you because knight of sword is all about action 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 they are doing action they are making their choice your future spouse is a choice maker they they are a decision maker they can they can take their decision uh, very easily because they have a strong intuition about life i don't know but i'm getting that your future spouse is having so much intuition because i am getting the moon here the moon is all about intuitive power your future spouse is having so much of intuition so much of sixth sense about their life about you know about their choices maybe your future spouse is someone who is very good with their words they are a very smooth talker they your future spouse can manipulate other people can mani manipulate you and your uh, parents very easily you know they are someone who is literally going to talk with your parents and the next day they are literally your 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 parents are literally you know uh in love with them i'm getting that kind of energy i'm getting that your future spouse will be very 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 smooth talker they talk like uh, you know so smooth they are talking their communication skill is amazing that's the thing that you should learn from them okay i'm sorry okay for so the next card is uh the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles i'm getting the energy that your future spouse is someone who is going to treat you like empress or emperor no matter what your gender is because okay i can see early pregnancy here so if you're someone who want children then don't worry after getting married or married or don't marry doesn't matter but you will get pregnant very easily so be uh, take care of you know take care of these things if you're someone who don't want you know child so you should take um take care of it so and you know queen of pentacle is very nurturing energy very wealthy energy you know after marriage you will be taking care by them like a child like a baby like a very 
uh, like a queen i can say that because queen of pentacle is that you know they are queen so after marriage you will be treated like a queen your in-laws will praise you your in-laws will admire you and you know your future spouse will be very very protective so if uh, uh, the, if uh, someone is literally telling bad things about you they are going to shoot them that kind of energy i'm also getting and queen of pentacles also telling me some new things new beginnings so maybe you are going to uh, start something new after getting married to this person and i'm okay and i'm also getting some green energy so this is a heart chakra opening so maybe before marrying this person you got some kind of trust issue or you got you or your future spouse got some kind of trust issue but after this marriage after this relationship that heart will be healed for the physical feature you know for if you're if you're watching for a man then i'm getting your a man will be medium to tall height they are having very stylish hair you know short hair very stylish hair and you know they will be having very fit body very fit hair uh very fit body okay but i'm not getting that they are going to be in a gym or something like that no they are not that but they literally um eat healthy things so their uh, their figure will be amazing uh, perfectly perfectly amazing they got a really stylish beard maybe your future spouse is very very fashionable they love beard and hair very styled okay i'm also getting that your your future spouse love to wear very casual clothes but sometimes they literally love to wear fashionable clothes if you are watching for a woman then your future spouse will have long hair long colored hair i don't know that um, colored hair or not but they will have some kind of red or you know honey colored hair or they love or your future spouse uh, love to color their hair some kind of energy okay sometimes they are having long hair and they are opening their hair and sometimes they will you know have it as a bun okay and also i'm getting that you know your future spouse's figure will be amazing uh, so i'm getting also that sometimes they are chubby sometimes they are skinny okay that is not permanent of course nothing is permanent and also guys i'm getting unconditional love for you so this i i can't see any divorce or thing like that because i can't see any separation because this is meant to be this is fated relationship you have to marry this person there is no escaping from this relationship and there is you know unconditional love i can see so you and your future spouse both will give unconditional love to each other um okay so let's see when are you meeting your future spouse i mean to say that where but i'm getting some kind of unexpected unexpected thing unexpected way you are meeting your future spouse but still let's take one card okay you got the hanged woman what did i tell you hanged woman is a card the major arcana who is telling me that this is not usual way this is not the usual way to meet your future spouse that is going to be very unusual that is going to be unexpected impossible way if you tell someone that look i met my future spouse in this way they are going to be awed by you because hanged woman is something that you know everyone is seeing the world in this way but thank god is seeing the world in different way they got different point of view you and your future spouse got something different got something more uh, refreshing for this world for this society maybe this relationship will be very very fresh and a new start for a very few portion of you i'm getting that you will marry your ex partner because from the seven of sword i'm getting that your ex is coming back and if you are someone who don't want to get married with your ex this is not message for you this is message for the person who are waiting for their ex to come back maybe their ex is coming back and uh, that's why you are thinking that your ex is literally um, you know or you this is maybe your energy that you are defending your energy you are guarding your heart to not get hurt again okay but your ex is going to come back if you are someone who is waiting for ex and your ex is uh, coming to your way very soon 
and this is going to be in divine timing in an expected way okay i get two cards okay i got libra i told you libra gemini aquarius energy you are strong so here you go about libra the card says that the win-win situations is forecasted so win-win situation is forecasted so you know meeting your future spouse will be feeling like win a lottery to you okay maybe libra their zodiac or your zodiac adjustments are required for some kind of adjustments i can see there of course you know sword is here maybe you have to adjust uh this kind of you know about their uh behavior okay this is all i'm getting okay and 50 50 chances that this is your ex coming back to your life and if you're someone who still love them do marry them and if you're not someone who love them then don't marry them but libra energy is very strong here a very win-win outcome is forecasting let's take something from my handmade tarot deck that what is there for you okay first two card is here already okay the card is saying that i will always protect you i am so jealous when you praise other guys <laughs> i know i am a weirdo i didn't I tell you that sometimes they are very obsessive and they literally feel very bad when you're talking to others so some kind of jealous energy yes they are very jealous and they get very jealous when you talk to other people you know opposite sex i love to see your naked body i love your body and soul i feel so lusty and love together at the same time so yes yeah, sometimes they are having this kind of you know very beasty but very angelic energy wow sometimes they are very lovey-dovey and sometimes they are very beasty okay the card you make me believe in love at first sight so for some of you this is going to be love at first sight wow oh so many cards okay these two cards literally you know upside so i'm going to take them emotions are running high i feel my heart aches so much my heart needs your love so yes this is your ex like for some of you this is your ex i know who you are i know your energy do not overthink i am coming towards you you know me too why are you then tensed i know you you know me so i don't know why this is x is coming so much high so maybe you got an x or maybe this is for someone very specific that your x is coming back into your life and literally they are telling you that you i know you and you know me and emotions are running high i feel my heart is, i feel my heart aches so much my heart needs your love so this two cut literally telling me that yes confirmation your ex is coming back i will take one more card okay the card is telling that I am very, very, very loyal and dedicated towards you. You got my heart. I am not me. I am your soulmate. I am yours. I can resist myself. I can't resist myself from kissing you. Come to my arms. So I'm getting so much of loyal vibration. So if you're someone who is literally tensed about the secretive behavior that, oh my God, if is there is they are literally cheating on me then i'm telling you they are not cheating on you they are literally stalking you they are seeing you they are obsessed about you and they are super duper loyal this is all i got for you my pile number two if you like my video go ahead and like this video subscribe to my channel also comment down below because i love to know that if these messages is resonating with you or not and tell me something more about them that which part is literally resonating with you i would be glad to know these comments from you guys that made my day okay till then keep smiling and have a, a lots of love from me okay Mwah. thank you guys my darlings those of you choose pile number three which is number 22 to 31 okay so if your birthday is on 22 or in between i know 31 so this is your reading and today's topic is who will you marry yes who will you marry so let's check about that oh my god the cards are flying 
if you're not my subscriber go ahead and subscribe to my channel because i love to make videos and i love to know your comments you know if these messages are resonating with you keep comment in my description and well, i mean to say that in my comment box <laughs> sometimes i lost my word okay my spirit guides, my garden, your archangel Michael, please channel message to me for, for my pile number three. That who will they marry? Okay, okay. Who will you marry? Okay. How many cards are there? One, two, three. Okay, I'll take them. One more card, angels. Tell me. Give me one more card. Okay. I got two. I will take only one okay so first I got six of cups okay uh, already I'm getting past life energy okay ace of cups Pisces cancer Scorpio energy Wow four of Pentacles okay wow you got the nine of cups four uh, three of them okay look at that nine of cups ace of cups six of cups and there is four of pentacles this is the someone who is different from the other three cards first of all let me tell you guys this is going to be your dream come true okay this person by marrying this person your every wish your every dream will be true okay this is uh, a relationship where you can say that yes my dream is true by marrying this person your maybe this is your dream person okay so uh, first let me tell you about this six of cups this is a past life relationship this is past life relationship i'm getting that you have you had already married this person in your past life you and your future spouse got some kind of past life connection okay this is not someone new in your soul to your soul you have you already know this person you know your soul already know that person and i'm also getting that there is so much of similarities in you two and you will meet your future spouse in a very you know water body area maybe swimming pool maybe fountain ocean some kind of water body is here I'm also getting that you and your future spouse may be, you know, high school sweetheart or you guys know each other from childhood. This this may be for, for a small group of you. This may be um, a childhood crush or a childhood uh, love relationship. Okay. Maybe you know each other for so well. And for other of you, this is going to be past life relationship. You already your soul already know this person and you have married this person in your past life this is past life connection this is pure soulmate connection and you guys are same no one can separate you know this relationship is meant to be no one can change that okay no one can change this relationship this is meant to be and i'm also getting that you will meet your future spouse after having a travel or you are returning from a travel or they are returning from a travel some kind of you know good travel experiences here so some kind of happy energies also i'm seeing and the next card is ace of cups ace of cups is all about unconditional love very good unconditional love maybe your future spouse or you have been single for a long time you guys maybe here in this group 90% of my viewers are single, 10% of my viewers are in a relationship but they're not sure that if they are with their person or not. I'm getting so much this energy that Ace of Cups is telling me your future spouse will be single, okay? You will be their first girlfriend or boyfriend or maybe you are the one who is single and they will be your first boyfriend or girlfriend i'm getting someone in this relationship will have their first relationship as their last relationship you know because i'm getting ace of cups is so much mature love so much overpouring love so much of you know unconditional love ace of cups is you know 
द हैंड इज होल्डिंग द कप एंड द कप इज फुल ऑफ लव एंड देर इज ऑल्सो सिक्स ऑफ कप सो सो मच कप एनर्जी एंड हेयर इज ऑल्सो नाइन ऑफ कप ओके आई विल शो यू लेटर बट द कार्ड इज ऑफ कप इज लिटरली टेलिंग मी दैट योर ए फ्यूचर स्पाउस विल लव यू अनकंडीशनली and you and your future spouse got so much of innocence maybe you are very innocent and they are very innocent this is mutual connection this is mutual love i'm also getting that you know there is so much love in this relationship that the oh my god the over love that is literally here you know <laughs> the clock the cup is flowing overflowing overflowing love overflowing joy is there here so, so i am getting that your married life will be full of love full of affection you know maybe you are someone who is not feeling that confident about your love life you are someone my pile number 3 you are someone who is not feeling that confident that power in love life or you are feeling very low about your love life but don't worry universe is going to give you universe is uh, going to give you some kind of love very 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 soon so i am getting so much of unconditional love here and you know your future spouse love your child like in a sense okay i am getting that maybe you or your future spouse really you know you you guys together you behave like a child together you behave like you you know each other for so long maybe you are meeting this person for the first time but you got the feelings that i know this person for my whole life i know this person uh, from the start okay so i am getting that uh, you will be building a very fast relationship with your future spouse in a very few days okay i'm literally getting a very fast moving relationship faster than anything maybe in emotional level because i'm i'm getting i'm not getting so much of very passionate and lusty relationship no i'm not getting that kind of a sexual vibe but i'm getting so much of soft romantic mature and you know forever kind of eternal fairy tale love i'm getting so much of you know this is the love of my life i'm getting so much of you know spiritual vibe i'm getting so much of um so much of mature love that this is mental this is platonic love okay the nine of cups by the look at that card what is it look at that card the card is full of love you know the card is full of love there is so much of completion you will feel complete with this person and that person will feel complete with you and you know after marriage and after meeting this person you will be feeling like really i mean i am having so much beautiful life so much beautiful married life and i was literally thinking negative about my life oh my god and and you and your future spouse will be saying to each other that my love where were are you i was finding you i i was i was feeling like abandoned kitten oh my god i'm getting that energy that you know your future spouse will come at you and sweep you off your feet i'm getting that energy that you are the cinderella my pile number 2 and my pile number 3 if you are a female i mean this is also you know gender free reading this is this is not gender specific you may be a girl or a boy watching for a man or a woman gay lesbian doesn't does, doesn't really matter but i'm getting that you know you will be you will be seeing that oh my god my future spouse is the best person ever ever i met okay because nine of cups is also wish fulfillment or also manifestation so you will get the dream a dream a dream person because nine of cups is all about dream marriage dream person four of pentacle is about financial status that is very stable so financially they are going to be very stable you will not be having any kind of problem poverty issue or you know a financial issue after getting married to this person there will always be enough money to enjoy your healthy life Four of Pentacles is also telling me that your future spouse will be very loyal to you, very stable in this in the relationship. They are not that kind of a flirty energy. Maybe you are the one who is very flirty or flirtatious, but your future spouse is not that kind of a person. They are very loyal. They are very introverted. I'm also getting, but people might sometimes 
um get confused confusing energy from your future spouse maybe sometimes your future spouse is uh showing that they are extroverted but uh in the real life they are very introverted person uh but their physical feature i am only getting about their hands their hands you know your future spouse's hands will be very strong no matter who they are male or a female but your future spouse something about their hands something about the nails will be amazing okay your future spouse is having so much of beautiful hand beautiful arms strong arms maybe some of you are going to marry an army person okay okay so i'm getting so much of emotional connection in this relationship in this relationship there is so much emotion so much love so much affection so much unconditional love so much of past life connection okay nine number nine number six number one number four is important for you and i'm also getting that you know okay i'm not getting any physical feature but i'm only getting about their mental feature that their mind will be very innocent their mind will be very positive they are someone you know your future spouse is someone who is into uh true love who believe in fairy tales but you know i'm getting for some of you you will meet your future spouse uh, a bit a bit later in your life because nine of cups is also telling me about patience nine of cups is also telling me about time about the lessons that you got from the universe maybe for some of you you will meet your future spouse a bit late in your life maybe you know uh the natural age of uh, getting married is you know 25 26 or something like that it may vary by your thought but you will meet your future spouse in uh, late 20s or something like that okay okay this is i'm getting because nine of cups is literally telling me that you know waiting is a, a sign of good fortune i'm getting the energy that yes the more you wait the more you gain so waiting is something that is going to bring fruitful energy into your life and if you're someone who is being impatient then don't be because your future spouse is having you know you already have so much or so much past lives with your future spouse so you don't have to worry about it you know that you will marry this person you need to have patience you you stop being worrying about your love life because i'm getting you are worrying about your love life a lot you are thinking that you know or maybe in the present time you're also thinking that you are not going to have the perfect person the dream person that you always wanted but don't worry just wait uh, wait for the right time okay universe will give you the right time look the bottom of the deck you got the hermit card it's all about self-love knowledge okay about you know being happy with yourself so for a sword is here so where will you meet your future spouse the place where people usually go for rest maybe you will meet your future spouse after after having a really busy day or maybe you know your you will meet your future spouse after they are having a busy schedule you know they just completed a busy thing or you just completed a busy project or they just completed a busy thing and they are going to take rest because their mind was so 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 you know exhausted so you will meet that person at that point of your time and that is going to be unexpected universe is not telling you this because that is going to be a surprise for you wow and for physical feature i'm getting that your future spouse is someone who is a warrior who is having a beautiful body as a warrior okay strong muscles strong things tall energy i'm getting their very arms are very strong that's all i'm getting and if they're woman the same energy i'm getting that maybe the woman if you're watching for a woman they are going to be a bit muscular and you are going to be the a feminine one okay so you got the first card that is your commitment is being tested so the first time you will meet your future spouse maybe your future spouse is going to test you a lot maybe your future spouse is someone who wants a love loyal relationship with you so maybe they got uh, some kind of you know um, relationship or you know some people may uh, might have already um, 
cross their road with your future spouse with that play kind of a vibes that's why your future spouse will taste your energy will taste your commitment before uh, starting this relationship okay your future spouse is having that kind of energy that before starting this relationship let me check you that if you are good enough or not uh, for my investment you know for my love investment okay i'm getting that kind of energy so they will test your commitment they will test your love and you know you you, you will uh, you will not be able to know that they are testing you okay that that is going to be secret okay what else is there have faith in your dreams what did i tell you guys have faith in your dreams you are going to have a very dreamy marriage your dream will be true you are going to marry your dream person your dream will be true so keep dreaming keep manifesting if you are thinking negative about your love life stop thinking that because i'm getting so much of you know my pile number three your dreams are coming true you are at final you know at last at the final you are meeting your future spouse in a very unexpected time in a very refreshing day and that is going to blow your mind okay and i'm also getting that you know this is very specific for some of you if you are watching for a male you know your husband then i'm getting that my female viewers your future spouse will love to smoke okay because uh, whenever I feel like smudging some palisanto, then I'm getting the energy that your future spouse maybe love to smoke or something like that. Okay. So let's, okay. The signs I'm getting Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And also I'm getting some kind of Libra energy. Okay. Let's take gemini okay so something is about gemini energies also oh my god i'm having two cards i didn't know that that is uh, uh cancer wise okay cancer wise is a personal issue reaches resolution the answer you need are coming so gemini energy will be strong for maybe you or your future spouse they are a very good communicator and Gemini energy is all about having good side and bad side at the same time, okay? Maybe at their workplace, they are a bad boy and in home, they are the good person that you will ever have, okay? So let's take the messages that I got for you. The first card you get, I love your smell. You smell like a flower. You really have some kind of magic in your aura. Your presence can heal me. You are my god goddess. Wow. So your future spouse treat you like a god goddess. Yes, sometimes I say some harsh words. But believe me, those words are not my real feelings. I can't control my anger. Yes, I am short tempered. Please forgive me. I love you. Didn't I tell you? Please rewind the video and just, you know, listen it more again. That your future spouse got like Gemini vibes, you know, good and bad at the same time. Sometimes they are very lovey dovey. Sometimes they get angry very easily. So short tempered. I will always protect you. I'm so jealous when you praise other guys. He he he. I know I'm weirder. So they are also having some kind of jealous issue. <laughs> This is good for you guys. Royal love. Stay with me. Love me. Live with me. Make an empire with me. Be my queen or king. I didn't think you as my partner. I'm a fool. Now I know I'm the stupidest person. I told you guys. For the first time you will meet your future spouse. You will recognize them as your future spouse. But your future spouse will not. And they will first taste your commitment taste your energy they will try to taste that if you are good enough to invest their love invest their time so at first they will not uh, take you as their partner but they will uh, give you uh, they will think that yes you have potential to become their partner and they will taste you and they will observe you and at last they are going to propose you for every pile i'm getting that your future spouse is going to propose you no matter who you are girl or a boy or gay or a lesbian doesn't matter but the other person is going to propose you because you have done so much things in your life and you know universe is so much happy with you that's all i got for you my pile number three if you like my video 
please give it a like comment down below that which part is literally resonating with you and i love to read your comments i love to you know i love to uh, make videos and i love to get you know some kind of response that what you guys are saying because because i do everything for you guys and i love to do that and if you're not my subscriber go ahead and subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get notified by youtube so thank you so much always stay happy keep smiling and stay positive and lots of love